Biggest losers of camp. Richie James. Oh, that's um, my first guy I have right here. Yep. Uh, I, think he got it. I think he played his way off the team. Yeah, I, it, it's, it's, it's weird, right? So, again, with Richie James, when we talked about going into training camp, who was going to be on the bubble, if you're not offering anything in the punt game because they were trying everybody else out instead of you, um, you know, we were there. We saw with our own eyes that they were trying to give it to Ayuk. Everybody, even Muhammad Sanu was back there at some points. River Craycraft, those guys. But then you're dropping passes now with your limited opportunities. Why are you here? What are you yeah. doing here? Yeah, I, yeah, and yeah. and when Simba Webster um, in the Chiefs game, I believe he returned a, a kickoff to the 40-yard line. That's unheard of. It's literally unheard of. Every single yeah. drive that I've seen since 2019 starts at the 25. That's it. Every time. No, no further than yes. that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, Richie James. Definitely. All right. I got another one. Aaron Banks. Second it's round hard, pick. Though. So can I push back on that a little? Fair enough. Go ahead. Okay. So the injury thing is, you know, obviously what it's you're going to say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not knocking him for getting injured. Yeah, right. that's fair. So that, but, you know, it's the thing is, too, is I think that he had a little bit of tough time um, adjusting to the, the speed and, you know, the injury doesn't help. So I'm going to, with. Uh, let me just say I'll withhold judgment on that's that. Fair. But, yeah, that's fair. But that's fair. But you're absolutely right for putting him in this portion because, again, second round pick, we all kind of just assume, hey, Aaron Banks is going to be the number one guy right here, right guard. Now you thought you had a fallback plan with Brunskill, and right guard right now is my biggest concern on this team. Absolutely. The next guy I was going to say was Brunskill. Brunskill, yep, absolutely. Big, I mean, it. I like Brunskill. I, he's so, done some good things in games, but I, you just can't deny that his training camp was awful. Yes. Yeah. I can't. I can't either. And and again, they it they want to have him as a Swiss Army knife to play all these yeah. other positions. Again. It, He's just not winning reps. He just no. every time I look, every time I was watching. No, it's not just that. Run. He's losing all the reps. Yes. In one hour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my God, is that him again? And 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 you know, that's not even on McGlinchey or anything like that. So, you mm -hmm. know, I tried to like hold out hope that hey, Alex Mack being there could help him out, maybe with some scheme with, with um calling out protections and things like that. But just didn't seem like he was winning any of his reps in any of the practices we're at. Nope. I got another one. Cole McKivitz. <laughs> I mean, somehow, somehow worse than Daniel Brunskill. That's how I would describe Colton. Better than you Tom know, Compton, better than Tom, but worse than Daniel. All right, that's fine. That's fair. <laughs> you know, but yeah. again, they have they have issues because they're drafting guys and now they're not panning out. Right? I have another one. Ambry Thomas. Mm. It's too yeah. it's too high of a pick for him to not be off the bat. Listen, that's make fair. all the excuses you fair. want about hey, he took the year off last year. Okay, fine. He was getting worked by almost everybody. Everybody. Any receiver that was on the other side of him. Debo Samuel, who was who was incredible for many for many reps, was the best on the field. That's true. Now the thing but, with Ambry is like he played better today, and like I'm, I can be kind of impressed with him sometimes, but I get a, I get the feeling that the the refs at the Niners practices like let a lot of contact go because in games it's like it, everything he does looks like a penalty but so, but on, on the practice field they let it go and i'm like well i mean i guess it's a pbu but you like you you mugged him i don't know so that's those were my concerns with Andrew yeah. thomas right i went to write an article about him and i i dug up all his college film and i said okay i want to cherry pick his best game so i could yeah. make a puff piece and put it up so <laughs> he has an interception in the game and a bunch yeah. of pbus but he has a bunch of Getting beat one on one and then just tackling the guy yes. and just bringing him down, which you can a, do it, in college because you're supposed to. It's a ten yard penalty. Right. Yeah, it's not a spot foul, right? Right. So, but my problem is, is that Michigan State doesn't have wide receivers that are whipping you. Now, if you really want to see him get whipped, watch the Notre Dame game and watch Chase Claypool whip him. That's an NFL oh. wide receiver, and and yeah. that's the issues that I had. So again, it almost felt like the 49ers were looking around and just said, "We need to draft the cornerback." Okay, this guy. He's and, got and, high and right speed, now, yeah. Lenore, Lenore is two rounds behind him, and he's much better than him. He was even in the slot today from, from what, uh, what yeah, I've been hearing. Yeah, that's right. The last couple of days. Okay, I got I got a couple of more, and I'm going to get yeah. progressively more negative. Go ahead. Mike McGlinchey. I'm trying oh, to be really? nicer with him. Go. Here's my thing with Mike. Look, mm -hmm. you you don't ever hear days like, man, D Ford had like four sacks today. But like, it's against him. Yeah, man, and like everyone wants to be nice to Mike because you know he he had he went through a lot last year and he means well, he means well, but yo, like you decided to be a professional athlete, we got to keep it a hundred, dog. You're you're soft. I'm um, sorry. I think he's, he's not playing. playing. He could be any weight, hey, Jason. Right. I, th I think that he's playing a little bit better than he, he did. He is you playing know, like, a little bit better, but come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. And then again, uh, it's it's really funny because Jordan, uh, aka Splash Cousin, shout out to him, the biggest mm. riser in camp right now. Uh, Hell yeah. He uh he made the the comparison. I flew back Spirit Airlines from <laughs> from L.A. <laughs> so I've never so, even um, heard of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um Spirit Airlines has a bad rap because there's some videos floating on the internet of like the plane shaking and everything. And and right, okay. So he made this comparison. Ooh. Mike McGlinchey is very much like Spirit Airlines. Okay. Um, Spirit Airlines has a bad rap because of that one video, but overall, I took the plane and I was fine. I made it back solid, fine, you know? So again, it, it, again, when he blows his blocks during the biggest moments, and and again, D Ford is really good. He is really good. So you would think that Mike McGlinchey going against guys as good as that would sharpen his skills, um, but it happens here and there. But I think that he's not as bad as people are saying. Again, I'm going to stick to Fair that, enough. but hey. Fair I'm enough. just, I'm just reserving it for. But the I mean, like, I starts. feel like we all want him to be good again, and I'm just saying, yeah. not yet. Hold on, I got, well, I got, more, right. I got more negativity for us. Hold well, on. Well, one, one more thing about McGlinchey is, yeah. is that you know we were at the joint practices, right? And he was taking number nine overall. There was a certain player that could have been taken that Ooh. had a pick six in those joint practices. Ooh. That 49er fans are like, man, we could have had him. Yeah. His name Derwin James. So that's another thing to, to talk about. But hey, at the same time, Mike. Uh, is looking a little bit better and you just got to hope that when everything's intact everything's going well everything will be fine so let's just see i'm i'm gonna withhold that one i mean I, i'm just knocking him for being himself he's just not good in pass protection i mean that's it's not breaking news it's not why i mean he it's just crazy that they drafted like a old school right tackle number nine like the oldest of the old school also he his reputation was built off playing next to Quentin Nelson, but that's enough. I don't need to hold on. I got more negative. Let's 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 move this to someone else. I gotta I gotta spread this around. Javon Kinlaw, like really? I like Javon Kinlaw, hell of an athlete, good run defender. He needed some time in these one on one pass rush drills, and he didn't get a single rep all off season. Bosa was in there the last couple of days. It doesn't mean that he's a bust. It doesn't mean that he's not good. It's just a total missed opportunity, and I still don't understand. Why? I mean, obviously, it's very physical and dangerous, and they're trying to not get it. Basically, it's clear that they're worried about his durability, and that's a dangerous drill. And they and he's healthy now, and that that's the good news. But uh, I would have liked to see him improve and, and do, do that drill because, frankly, he wasn't good in that drill last year, and I felt it translated to the games in terms of passing. Yeah. I mean, I guess I hear what you're saying when it comes to that. I'm, I'm more of the proponent of, like, you know, when it comes to forward, when it comes to guys that you're going to be relying on week one, I don't care about training camp. Fair. Don't Don't get – yeah, don't Fair. get them in camp. You know, Fair. But, I just felt he needed it. He no. needed it to improve. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. So what, I'll, what yeah. I'll point to is when he was in on 11 on 11s, Alex Mack was working him, and he was upset, very upset. Remember, they got into a little scuffle in that practice because Alex Mack – you know, Javon Kinlaw is a giant human being. But Alex pros is, can work him because right. he's not he's working on that. He's not quite a right. I'm not saying he's he, not a pro, but you know what I mean. You no, but I mean. he's trying to bull rush yes. Alex Mack. And Alex Mack's ready for that. And Alex Mack was putting yes. him on his back and that's he right. got frustrated, right? So that's that's the thing. Yeah. You're right about that's that. What I'm saying. He does need the reps. He does need the reps. He, yeah, I exactly. Another, I he one. needs the reps. He needs the reps. I anyway, one. I got one I got one more. I got one. I got one more. I got one more. Jimmy Garoppolo. Wow. It, what everyone everyone wants to be nice about Jimmy. He threw eleven <laughs> touchdown passes and eleven picks in nineteen days. That's not good enough. It's not good. And people be like, oh well, he was good in the move the ball. But if you look at these one little subset of nah, man, he's getting paid twenty. He's the fifth highest paid player in the league, and he's over here getting outperformed by a rookie who's inconsistent in his own right. Talented, but come on, Jimmy, that's the best you could do. That's the best you could do. I wasn't impressed. Here's my thing. Two things can be true. Two things can absolutely be true. This was Jimmy Garoppolo's best training camp, and he <laughs> underwhelmed. Both of them can be true. So here's the thing. Jimmy okay. didn't do anything that is outside of what Jimmy does. Sure, he had a bomb touchdown uh, in the joint practices to Travis Benjamin. Cool. That's fine. That was cute. We got that on video and everything as well. Seven on sevens. This is the this is the one that sticks out of my mind immediately. The, the, the good Jimmy, bad Jimmy thing that mm -hmm. I think you're the one who came up with. Seven on sevens. There's no pressure. None. Everybody's covered. He's doing your yep. thing. And 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 look, interse almost interception. Drop. We were but there. The, yeah. But yep. then the next play, Touchdown. literally over the yep. middle. Touchdown to George Kittle. Yep. And I'm just like, dude, this is so baffling. I don't yep. get it. I don't understand why he's so up and down like this. Um, but at the end of the day, what I walked away with, with with training camp and being able to watch him so many times was 
Jimmy Garoppolo is who he is at this point, and 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 that's it. I did, his ceiling is maxed out. The guy he it wants is. to get the ball. That's out the very main fast. point. That's right. the only. That's the most important point. He's not improving. They gave him all the first team reps. He's not improving. He's maxed out. I just want to say real quick, I've seen all of his training camps, and I could be wrong, but I think it was his worst camp. And I, let me tell you why. I could be wrong. No one else has said it. Maybe I, it's a hot take, but. The interception thing was a daily problem. It wasn't five picks in one day. It was one every day. With a few drop. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess what it all stems from to me, and it showed in that game against the Chargers, the lack of confidence. Early on in camp, they're like, yo, he's so much more confident, which tells you he was lacking confidence. And when they tell you why he looks good, they're like, well, he really commands the huddle. What I saw in the pocket against the Chargers was a guy who was very skittish, skittish. which to me is lacking confidence. And, I, I I think he was more confident two years ago, three years ago. I mean, I don't know where this is coming from. I'll say this. Uh, that run that he had in the Chargers game was that actually was nice. really good. That was nice. That, <laughs> that was, was really, really nice. He felt he yeah. felt the pressure and he, he moved. The and, 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 yeah, hey, look, yeah. good. The knee braces and yeah, on. Seriously. You're going to have to find ways to make uh, things happen when it comes to that. So I just think that when I went into camp, I expected somebody who was going to elevate his game in the face of – someone who is behind him no matter what anybody says it is a competition it is trey lance but he didn't he just he just proved himself to be jimmy garoppolo at the end of this camp and that's what was disappointing there was no sort of change in philosophy everything was okay here nope yeah. cool quick that's it done because they were trying to speak into existence it's a new jimmy he's improved because like cursed, it's like a better at a, at a press conference it's a super jimmy okay <laughs> and the only thing he's missing is a cape Nah, just let it play out. It's been three days. Just let Jimmy be Jimmy. Nah, it's not super Jimmy. No. Andrew says if Jimmy does start, how short is his leash? The shortest. Oh Very my short. God. The shortest. My, my prediction, we're going to do some predictions. Here's a little teaser. If he does start, Jimmy, uh, Trey, hmm, Trey will play in the first drive. Okay. If it extends past midfield, Trey will be okay. in the game in the first drive. So, <clears throat> it's, I mean, it's short. Mm, it's it's going to be short. It's, it's a short. short leash. It's a very short leash. I have one more loser. If we before we go, go ahead, on. please. If, yeah. Okay. Jalen Hurd. That. I mean, I, I, what, at what point? Look, he practiced today and he practiced the day yeah. before. That's fine. Yeah. Juwan Jennings. Juwan Jennings did not play this entire year. The year before, and he just comes right off, and all of a sudden he's in games making plays in that yeah. big slot that where you're supposed to be. Like that's it. Like once Juwan Jennings shows you that he can do what Jalen Hurd is doing, that you, you are no longer a necessity. And yeah. again, I hate to keep harping on this. But there's so many misses. You drafted Jalen Hurd in the third round, and you could have had Terry McLaurin. I know. I'm tired of Elite. this. I'm so upset, and I'm never going to stop harping on this. The only thing that's worse than that, as far as draft pick goes, was drafting Mitch Wisnowski. Oh. That's it. The thing about Hurd, he feels like he I, – I can't say what his motivations are, but he just seems like he tries to do the bare minimum. And anytime like, he comes in for the last two days of camp and tries to make an impression, like, I don't know if it's enough, but – I just Dude. don't get the sense from him that he's, like, super into playing football the way that, like, Trent Shurfield is. Dude, we got so excited. When I tweeted out Jalen heard me to catch an 11 on 11s, it was like confetti was thrown in the air. Think about how little that is. One catch in 11 on 11s? That's, that's basically, all this man has right now to his 49ers resume is one half of football against the Dallas Cowboys and three catches on 11 on 11s. Way to go, third-round pick.